In the last chapter you learned the definition of the Internet. Chapter 2 will further explore the Internet and the World Wide Web. The web is one service available on the Internet. Internet has had a profound effect on the world of computers. The Internet originated as ARPANET in September 1969 and had two main goals, allow scientists to share information and work together and to continue to function, even if parts of the network were disabled or destroyed. Today, billions of home and business users around the world access a variety of services on the Internet using computers and mobile devices. Computer and mobile device users can connect to the Internet through wired or wireless technology. Cable Internet service, digital subscriber line, and fiber to the premises are examples of popular wired broadband Internet service technologies. Wireless fidelity, mobile broadband, fixed wireless, and satellite Internet service are examples of popular wireless broadband Internet service technologies. A cyber cafes are located in cities all around the world. Cyber cafes provide computers with Internet access, usually for a fee. Hotspots are located in many public areas. Hotspots provide computer users with wireless Internet connections for mobile computers and devices. Individuals and organizations connect to the Internet through an Internet service provider that provides access to the Internet free or for a fee. Internet service providers offer a variety of bandwidth, depending on the technology used. Bandwidth is the amount of data, instructions, and information that travels over a network and is typically measured in megabytes which is equal to 1 million characters or gigabytes which is equal to approximately 1 billion characters. An addressing system is used by the Internet to send data to a computer at a specific destination. The Internet Protocol Address, IP address, is a set of numbers that uniquely identify each computer connected to the Internet. The domain name is the text version of an IP address. Both the numbers in the IP address and the text in the domain name are separated by periods. Each domain name contains a top-level domain. In the domain name shown on the screen, .com is the top-level domain. The top-level domain identifies the type of organization associated with the domain. For example, edu is John A. Logan College's website's top-level domain. Listed on this screen are several popular top-level domains. Web consists of a collection of electronic documents called web pages. A website is a collection of related web pages. A web services delivers web pages to your computer. Web 2.0 refers to websites that allow you to share information. A web browser allows computer users with an internet connection to access web pages. A home page is the first page that a website displays. The first page that appears when you open your web browser is also called a home page. Most web browsers support tab browsing that allows multiple web pages to be opened at the same time, each with their own tab so the user can easily move from page to page. Each web page has an address called a uniform resource locator or URL. Most web pages begin with HTTP, slash slash. HTTP stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol, HTTP is a set of rules that defines how pages transfer on the Internet. The first portion of the domain name, www, identifies the use of a web server. The web address may also include a path, or location on the computer server, of the web page. A web app is an application stored on a web server that you access through a browser. A mobile web app is an application you download from a mobile device's app store or other location. While surfing the web, you can use search engines to find websites and web pages. A search engine is a program that allows you to search the web for specific information. A search engine is one of several types of websites. There are several other types of websites. 
online social networks that allow users to communicate and share. Informational sites contain factual information. Media sharing and bookmarking sites allow users to manage and share media. News, weather, and sports websites contain newsworthy material. Education sites provide formal and informal educational opportunities. Business, governmental, and organizational websites provide information for customers, citizens, and members. Blogs reflect the interests, opinions, and personalities of the author. Wikis allow users to organize, edit, and share information. Health and science websites provide users with up-to-date information. Entertainment sites provide a wide variety of interactive and engaging environments. Online banking and online trading are two examples of financial websites. Travel and mapping websites act like online travel agencies and can also provide reviews. Chronic retail allows users to purchase just about any product or service on the web. Career information and job openings can be found on employment websites. Electronic commerce includes business to consumer, consumer to consumer, and business to business websites. Portals provide a variety of internet services from a single location. Business and individuals can convey information to billions of people through websites. Web publishing is the development and maintenance of websites. Most web pages use multimedia which includes graphics, animation, audio, video, and virtual reality. A graphic is a visual representation of non-text information. Audio includes music, speech, or any other sounds. Video consists of full motion images that are played. Virtual reality is the use of computers to simulate a real or imagined environment that appears as a three-dimensional space. Many web pages contain graphics. A graphic is a digital representation of non-text information such as a drawing, chart, or photo. Many web pages also contain animation. Animation is the appearance of motion created by displaying a series of still images in sequence. Live audio or audio clips can be listened to on the web by using a media player. You can view video clips or watch live video on the web. Virtual reality simulates a real or imagined environment. Although most web browsers have the capability of displaying basic multimedia elements, your browser may need an additional program, called a plugin, to extend the capability of the browser to view the multimedia elements of a website. You can download many plugins at no cost from various websites. Electronic mail is a primary method of communication for both personal and business use. Email is the transmission of messages and files via a computer network. Messages can consist of simple text or can contain attachments, such as documents, graphics, or audio slash video clips. You subscribe to an electronic mailing list to receive copies of messages. You unsubscribe from the mailing list to remove your name. Instant messaging is a popular real-time internet communication service. Chat rooms allow users to have real-time typed conversations with other users who are online at the same time. A discussion forum is an online area for written discussions. Discussion forums are used in CIS 101 and probably in your other online courses, too. Voice over Internet protocol enables users to speak to others over the Internet using their computer. File transfer protocol is another service on the Internet. File transfer protocol allows the uploading and downloading of files with other computers on the Internet. Uploading is the transfer of files from your computer to a server on the Internet. Netiquette is short for Internet Etiquette. 
netiquette can be applied to all aspects of the internet.